Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be presenting our work on regularized autoencoders for isometric representation learning. I am Yonghyun Lee, and this is joint work with Sang Wong Yoon, Min Jun Sun, and Frank Park. Our work is based on the manifold hypothesis, namely real-world high-dimensional data, such as images, lie approximately on some low-dimensional manifold embedded within the high-dimensional data space. Under this hypothesis, the data representation learning problem consists of two components. First, we need to fit a lower dimensional manifold to the data. And second, find a coordinate chart for the constructed data manifold. Then the coordinate space becomes a low dimensional representation space. To find a good manifold representation, learning the correct manifold is clearly important However, this is not the end of it. The following example shows this intuitively. Let's consider the globe shown on the right and 2D map shown on the left. Imagine you are a pilot trying to find the shortest route from Boston, USA to Incheon, South Korea. You may find the shortest path on the map, the black straight line shown on the left. However, this is different from the sh real shortest path, the red curve called the Great Circle. This is because there is a geometric distortion between map and globe. In fact, there are diverse maps for the globe, each of which has different degree of distortion. In this sense, finding an arbitrary coordinate chart for the learned data manifold does not always guarantee a good representation. In this paper, we argue that a good representation should also preserve the geometry of the data manifold. That is, nearby points on the manifold should have representations that are also nearby, and angles and volumes should be preserved as much as possible. For this purpose, we have formulated a hierarchy of geometry preserving mappings. At the top of the hierarchy, an isometry preserves angles and distances, a scaled isometry preserves angles and relative distances, while a conformal map preserves angles only. One of the important findings of our study is that attempting to find an isometry between the latent space and data space can be too stringent, resulting in lower manifold learning accuracy. In our work, we have found that using a measure of distance from a scaled isometry seems to offer the best balance between manifold learning accuracy and model parsimony. In the main manuscript, we provide a formal definition of scale isometry and a relaxed distortion measure, a measure of how far a mapping F is from being a scale isometry. The proposed relaxed distortion measure satisfies important mathematical properties like coordinate invariance. Details are provided in the paper. One of the really nice features of our method is that its implementation is remarkably easy and simple, as shown in the slide. Now, we share some experimental results. A figure one shows two-dimensional latent space representations of MNIST images of the disease 01367. It can be seen that IRV produces more homogeneous and circular shaped ellipses, implying that the representation is more isometric. Observe that the clustering is much more discriminative in the representation space generated by our IRV algorithm. To highlight this difference, we introduce one interpolation example. Given two images 0 and 1, we linearly interpolate between these two digits in the latent space. In the VAE representation space, 0 transitions to 6, goes through 3 and 7, and then transforms to 1. On the other hand, in IRVAE representation space, 0 changes to 3 and then to 1. Clearly, IRV produces shorter and smoother interpolation results than VAE. There are many more interesting topics discussed in our paper, and we invite you to take a closer look and to reach out to us if you have any questions or, or comments about our work. Thank you for listening. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions.